Welcome to the Joint Area Podcast, a podcast where this, we study the lives of oh, f- <coughs> study the lives of two dads trying to find the balance between the families, hobbies, and work. This week on the Joint Area, we discover that'd be a cheap date, man. Take like two beers. All right, let's do this thing. Woo! Let's just search for the meaning of life as it had never been witnessed before. The Joint Area Podcast. All right. Paint? Wait, is it record? Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're recording. It, they gave us a, it's a new look. Yeah, they updated the whole interface thing, and and I had to change my name. Does it show who what my name is when I? Uh, yeah, log up in. in the right, up in the right corner, it says Luke Garage Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, it, it used to be Luke of the Garage? Yeah. Um Because <laughs> you know. Maybe I should make that a thing uh, where each time I'll change my name. Uh, <laughs> Luke Garage, whatever. So, Oh, man. How oh. you doing, man? How you doing? Oh, man. I'm just happy to be off the toilet, bro. It's been, <laughs> it's been a week, man. Holy <laughs> crap, dude. Oh, God. We had our block party this weekend. And, um, man, yeah, poor Bubs, man. Uh, by the end of the night, it was coming out of both ends, and since then, Ugh. whatever that was has worked our way through our whole family, uh, which ended with this morning, uh, Ellie puking all over my shoulder in the middle of front porch weather, <laughs> which <laughs> was like, damn it, like seriously, dude. That video, uh, if, if you're lucky enough to see the video, if you go to his uh, stories <laughs> and catch it within the next 24 hours. Um, you'll see. Well, no, you will not. Twenty four hours. Well, yeah. Well, no, no they'll be gone be by the time they hear this. Yeah, they'll yeah. be gone. No, by well, time if they, if they look, if if you're one of the people who like listens it, when it comes when the podcast comes out, you might have a chance to catch it, but it, it'll be gone like seven thirty ish Central Time tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm so I'm sitting there and we're trying to do front porch weather for the first time cuz we're we're back in school man things are yeah. we're going back to our old routine yeah. kids are excited again about front porch front porch weather they've missed it and but those of you guys who don't know front porch weather is the um uh weather that uh we do every morning cuz the weather doesn't really matter and um <laughs> and i for you know we've done it hundreds of times and for the first time i got thrown up on so <laughs> <laughs> shit it's crazy too because like if some people most people probably won't be able to see the video it's probably gone by the time it wasn't so i he, hope so she's sitting he's sitting down and she's like standing over his shoulder his left shoulder and uh well, at least that's how it looked on the video yeah um it was my and, right yeah so. yeah and <laughs> he's like you know what's the weather or whatever whatever you however you said it and she yeah. started it off fine and then like you can see it in her face it just like crept over her face like oh <sighs> this shit is coming up right now <laughs> and she just leaned right into you <laughs> i was like are you okay i'm like the timing was perfect oh dude you uh, couldn't have planned it you couldn't have planned that better a, it's a, so perfect a good buddy of mine um uh it messaged me. It was like that could have been funnier if you planned it. <laughs> Dude, I'm serious. I'm serious. Like I wouldn't put it past you to, to do something like that because you guys are hilarious as a family. Um, but like her timing, her comedic timing is just like spot on dude <laughs> spot on <laughs> yeah that's you look my, my kids might not have an attention span but at least they're funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. So yeah. Uh, like I like today's the first day, like you know, where I uh, like well, it's I mean, I really didn't feel bad until yesterday, but um, but yeah, it's, it's I'm just glad to be back after a day of that. Oh God, so it's weird. Oh, it's you- weird. It's weird because you said you didn't, you weren't throwing up and stuff like that. It wasn't coming out of both ends on you. So, but you, it your committed vo- itself to coming out of one end exclusively with authority. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> And it wasn't my mouth. <laughs> uh, but it, it seems like it hit your, your vocal cords a little bit, too. Like, you're like, uh, it's just a little bit. Like, it seems like you're just yeah, sound but, a little, you sound a little under the weather. I don't know why either. Maybe I was yelling while I was pooping or something. <laughs> but, I mean, but, like, honestly, like, I, like, it was one of those days where all I was doing is either pooping or sleeping. 
you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, like, because it was the first day of the kids' school, right? So we were supposed to go. I was supposed to walk them to school, you know, because that's something that we do here. And um, you know, I I woke up at like five thirty to, hey, bro, guess what's going on? And then it just got worse, and then it got it was it was weird, man. Oh man, uh, that's just glad. brutal. Yeah. So, but school is back, and that's incredible. Like, you know, yeah, I, I'm I've very been excited in, about that. Yeah, we've been in it for a couple of weeks now, and you just started this week. Um, yeah. And both our kids have gotten sick in this first week. I mean, yours. You said Bubs. Do you think Bubs just picked it up at the party, or do you think it was a because he hadn't been in school yet? So it must have been somebody at the party wasn't feeling well or something and he kind of grabbed it well, from there i guess i was talking to the, the neighbor today and i was telling him about how it was coming out of because buzz was having the pinata effect where it was just both <laughs> ends, you know yeah and yeah. um it was coming out of every every area yeah. and um so i was because yeah, like it, it, he had that bad experience where when you're on the toilet dealing with one end uh oh. it starts coming out the other end like yeah, simultaneously that's, pinata, yes that's that's know? brutal that's brutal uh, which i've only had that happen to me once uh, that I could remember, and it was in um, at Mardi Gras. So that sounds about right. <laughs> dude, all I remember is that my I was in the one bathroom. I felt bad because I was there in the same room with like three dudes, and they're sitting on the bed trying to recover from their hangovers, and I'm on the toilet. And dude, I just remember it ha- happening to me, and I was like, "Thank God, this is is." is like, I hope this never happens again. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is nothing you can do. Like, you're sitting on the toilet, and you're trapped. And you're like, yeah. I, you're like sitting there thinking, like, like when it's when you start to feel like, oh, God, you know you have, like, two seconds before it's too late. It's not a lot of warning. And I'm like, what do I do? Like, if I stand up, I'm going to poop on the door, right? Yeah, yeah. No, you got to you know? hope, hope there's another trash can or something yeah. in there at the time. Yeah. <laughs> what, would you, what would you rather clean up? You know, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just like, and I remember like looking at the, 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 the space between the door and the door frame. And I like, f- like for the, 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 the section of where my body was, I completely filled the gap with people. Oh, <laughs> I was like, and like, you could, I could hear my buddies in the other room going like, uh, what's going on in there? I'm like, <laughs> Oh God, <laughs> don't ever come in here ever. Yeah. You know, oh God, dude. That was before I realized you're supposed to tip um uh the housekeeping, you know. Oh Jesus. <laughs> like wasn't until I was with my wife or she's like, you know, I got tipped the housekeeping. I was like, what? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> she's like, yeah, because you know, they make your bed and whatever. I'm like, oh God. Let's not talk about Vegas or Mardi Gras. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh yeah, Frankie. Geez. Frankie had a had a little accent this weekend too because he was he got it on Friday, um, and he wasn't feeling well. No, no, no. Sorry, Thursday he started not feeling well. Thursday last week, and so Thursday night he came into the bedroom and he was like, "Yeah, I you know had an accident," and we were like, "And you know this is like at two in the morning or something," and I was like half asleep, and I wake up, I'm like, "Okay." You know, I'm because you know I'm used to do it dealing with him. He's a little kid. He's he has accidents every once in a while. So like, but I get in, I get up, and I start walking past him. And as I walk past him, like I smelled like fucking shit. Basically, <laughs> no other oh. way to put it. I was like, what the hell am I? What the hell's going on here? And I get go past him, down the hallway into his room, flip on the light, and he had had diarrhea basically all over the all over the bed and i was just like oh my god dude this is ridiculous joy of kids man i swear to god bed is way worse than pee in the bed yeah i was just like oh dude so that was that's how that night the i didn't you know obviously i was up for you know i took him debbie threw him in the bath you know she's up doing that i'm dealing with the bed the bedding and stuff and yeah that was just and then, uh, yeah, so that was rough. And then the kid, Penny got it, and, but she didn't have the same problems he did, but she got sick as well. So both my kids were sick this weekend. They've missed school on Monday. So, yeah, it's a stellar uh, start to a school year, man. <laughs> Way to got. kick it off right. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, look, I'm sure people listening are sitting there telling themselves right now, please stop talking about boop. Like, <laughs> 
I was really hoping you'd be talking about food or like something hey, stupid. Man. Like, hey, this is this uh, is life. This is life. This is how it yeah. happens with ki- kids and families, man. This is it's a shitty get... podcast. We've been trying to tell you this. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna hear it all here, man. We're not gonna hold back. We're gonna tell you guys about oh, what's going on, man, so. dude. Seriously, bro, it's Ugh. just been it's just been so stupid, man. But anyways. Yeah, what 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 else has been going on? I haven't talked to you much this week, man. What else has been going on with you? Right? Like you- I've been busy, man. Just been busy, busy. Um, since school started, you know, uh, we, me and like, there's like two other people on PTA for the for the school. So we had picture day this week. We had, um, you know, something else. What else did I do How this do week? Pick- for the- oh well, I guess your school's been. Added we're three for weeks a few in. Weeks. Yeah, so we're three weeks in. So we had picture day. So I was there all day yesterday, wrangling kids and bringing them around for school pictures, and you know, and uh, everybody. I was the um, I've been on the PTA there for a few years now, so like most of the kids that are around that are Penny's age, they uh-huh. all know me because um, they've been I've been on the campus, you know, for the last three years with them. So, uh-huh. um, so that that makes it easier and fun um, to deal with these kids and stuff during that type of situation, nice. but. Yeah, yeah. So I've been doing. I was doing that, and then, you know, just other stuff with uh, family um, and stuff like that. I've been busy this week with that, and uh, I've been working in the shop a little bit, making cutting boards. Um, yeah, it's been a, it's been a been a productive week, but I, yeah, I haven't. I've just been busy, man. So I haven't had a chance to sit down and bullshit with you, which is unlike us normally. I know, man. God, it's been rough, dude. Like I just been, you know, and it's like, like the whole um, coming off the you know, with the block party and like everything else, like I haven't gotten much like shop time and, you know, it's just been, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's been hard to balance like what I got going on, you know? And it, it's like, and like in the meantime, like I, I've got this like renewed shop energy, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. It, combined with a lack of motivation, which has been great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like where you start to get ideas again. You're like, Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, this would be cool. And then it's like, but you know, I I maybe I could just cruise the internet for. <laughs> How know. are you not excited to get into your shop, man? You got you got a brand new tool Ugh. that you that that you yeah. I mean, I I would be so excited to be out there playing with that. Um, I know you said you didn't really want to talk about it, but I don't care. It's something. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so okay we can talk about it so i bought that uh saw, saw stop job site pro table saw yeah and dude i am super excited about it it's it is um and it was it's nice because it's like one of those things where like you know you research something before you make a big purchase right yeah, yeah. um and like well, like i get no, a lot, not really <laughs> i don't do that usually but go on Oh, you just are obsessively like, oh, it's oh yeah. 10 grand, like five grand. Let's go. <laughs> I'm the worst at that, dude. Debbie hates me for that reason. I'm just like, oh, it's just this price. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, anyways, I don't research oh, shit. Dude, so, go ahead. I watched every YouTube review on that saw. I watched because oh, wow. like at first I was I wanted to get the contractor saw. And the problem with that one was is the motor hangs off the back, which oh, means yeah. It's like friggin' 45 inches deep or something like that. And like, we still have the car in the shop, right? Like, that's a part that people have a hard time believing. And like, the idea that if, like, for some reason, my wife hit the saw with the car, oh, right, yeah, I, I would not be comfortable with that experience. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Like how much regret I would have with the words that came out of my mouth expressing my feelings <laughs> about slamming the car into my new saw, right? I love it. Most people would be freaked out about the car. You're like, fuck the car. How's my <laughs> saw? <laughs> Dude. Like like yeah, and, and I don't want I don't like look what's the car what's gonna happen to the car when it hits the saw? Nothing. The saw is gonna crumple like a little bitch. That's what's yeah, gonna yeah. happen. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, of course I'll be like, well, maybe it'll still work, and like the fucking blade will fly out or some stupid shit, you know? Like, I don't know. So, so like, I'm trying to keep everything as compact as possible. So, I, you know, I was, you know, I was, and I wanted the safety of the um the saw stop system, which yeah, which is interesting, dude. I found out today, um, because they like look that saw is very expensive, but 
it is worth the money. Like you, you, they make they make the whole thing an experience, right? Yeah. So yeah. like even open it like you open the box, right? And like right there on the inside of the lid, it tells you pick up the but instructions and read the the, the the quick start instructions. So like you read the instructions and it tells you cut off this side of the box and like you just gotta put the wheels on and that thing's assembled, ready to go. Like yeah, so nice. Yeah, and then like I'm flipping through the instructions, and the instructions, it like, like even if you just want to look at the pictures, it's knowledgeable. Like it is, yeah, it's great, very well. Like I'm like, should I buy this? Should I <laughs> like? What should I do with this? You know, but like I flip through because like, like on anything you know that expensive, I always look at the instructions, and like yeah. I found out that like you can bypass the saw stop system right so like you could turn off the finger chopping thing right so i could make it less safe if i really need to uh <laughs> i think i find that interesting when you when i first heard this because i heard it um like a couple weeks ago prior to you mentioning it to me um from somebody else and i thought i just found that interesting i mean i understand why i get the purpose of why because it allows you to cut other materials and whatnot yeah but it just seems like their whole purpose is to keep you from cutting your fingers off. And the, the fact that they, their saw has the capability of still cutting people's fingers off. It's just a little, I don't know. It's just weird to me, but well, it, yeah. And it, well, it makes sense though. Cause like I was reading it and it was like, for example, if you need to cut things like wood, that's a little bit wet, right? Cause like wet wood will trigger it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or aluminum. Like, let's say you want to use your cross cuts lead to, cut or like your miter gauge to cut some aluminum bar stock or something right or your, your t-tracks t-tracks, or, your t-tracks or, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah 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 like there, there comes a point in time where you're like that would be nice to be able to do and like like to think that your saw that you just spent sixteen hundred dollars on plus the hundred dollar break on can't cut some shit it's kind of like a cop-out you know so like hey that let's is just that is make it so you can turn that shit off cut that's, look that's if you're true. really committed to cutting your finger off with our saw we're gonna let you do it, but you gotta push this button and hold it down until it flashes. Like, are you serious? And then you're like, yes. And I'm still holding on the button. And like, okay, we warned you. Like, basically, what the saw says when you do it. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that finger but, you're pushing this button with, you yeah. might lose this finger <laughs> if you keep pushing it. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> Say goodbye to this finger. <laughs> So, like, like maybe, uh, maybe, like, I'll even like leave a little mark on the finger, like we told you so. You know, so yeah. like, if you cut your finger off, and then you look at it, like, oh fuck, it said right there, I told you so. <laughs> Son of a bitch, it burns it into your fingertip. <laughs> <laughs> little, little, little lasering burning system that just <laughs> you've been warned. <laughs> I like that. I told you so. Yeah. I think that's clever. Yeah, and then, that you way so. when you you go to sue them, they'll be like, well, can we see the thumb? And they're like, yeah. no, <laughs> like, can't see the thumb. Like, that's right, bitch. We knew you cut it off on purpose, you idiot. <laughs> it clearly stated right there on your fingertip yeah. before you went to cut. Oh, man. That Which, is and, too and, funny. and also, like, like if you're an idiot, right, and you're the kind of person who's like, I don't read the instructions, right? Uh, yeah. Like, then you'll never know it has that feature, right? <laughs> and you'll never cut your thumb off. So it's, there you go. it's really, there you go. it's really, Almost a foolproof system, so which, yeah, 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 which is right in my wheelhouse. So, <laughs> but you know, you realize when you buy a tool like that, right? Like then all of a sudden, like all the other stuff that you had already made for your old saw, all of a sudden um, doesn't uh, fit for your new saw. Yeah, yep. I had the same problem when we got the got the new powermatic the old my old uh, crosscut sled didn't fit the one of the um spline jigs that i made that is was that was set up just far enough from the you know the blade to the miter track now is like three inches too short <laughs> you know what i mean from the blade yeah. so yeah, yeah 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 i i understand that totally yeah it's crazy so <sighs> yeah so it's exciting though. So, but it, oh, it's yeah. cool because, like, um, you know, I'm pushing that. I'm working on my YouTube stuff now, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. You've got me all fucking my in my head. You're in my head all throughout that thing, dude. Like, I'm sitting there filming it, like, 
and I'm I'm like, man, if this audio sucks, I'm like, <laughs> fuck, it's gonna no one's gonna want to watch this shit, man. I need good audio for this, and like all I can think of is you tell you you obsessing about audio with shit, and I'm like, oh god, Ben is gonna watch this and be like, I can't watch this, Luke. I'm so sorry because your audio <laughs> fucking blows. I'm like, so. I don't know, man. So yeah, but so it's gonna be cool though. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that saw and I'm gonna um try to do something I haven't seen anybody do before, where I'm gonna combine an outfeed table with a router table. So yeah, it's gonna be great. I mean, I I dope. think I yeah, I think the idea is really really clever too because then you have both surfaces, opposite surfaces, to act as the outfeed table for each other. Yeah, you know what I mean, and, which is and, great. You know what I mean. Yeah, and you know, like you know how I like to roll. I want to make things as forehead slappingly obvious as I like <laughs> as I can. Like, yeah. you know, because like you know, I mean, the kind of person I am. Anyone who gives me advice, you know, there's like a five percent chance I'll actually listen to it. You know, and like, yeah, yeah of those five yeah. percent, there's a maybe twenty percent chance I'll take any of it to heart. You know, so <laughs> yeah. statistically, I can't calculate the odds of that type of situation so like you know i look at the way everyone does it and i I saw some dude posted it where he didn't have a router table in it but he had made his cart that way and i was like oh that's smart yeah 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 yeah. so yeah that's that is smart i was telling we were talking earlier today about your outfit table situation and i was curious if you had the capability like the power matic just to use a um standalone like, um, you know, one that just folds up and attaches to the back of it. Cause I thought that'd be kind of a cool solution to your problem, but, um, yeah, I thought about, yours is better. I thought about that though. And, um, I thought I would rather, like, if I'm going to put anything on the back, I thought that that'd be a better place to hang my table saw sled, you know, it was on the wall behind the saw, you know, as opposed to, cause like, dude, I'm out of wall space, man. And like, I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, the current sled that I have for my saw is great, but it's not really that deep, right? I didn't know how big yeah. to make one when I made it. So yeah. um, it's not that deep. And I'm just like, you know, I want to make one bigger. And I'm like, well, where the hell am I going to put this thing? Like, yeah, like, that's a serious problem. Like, as it is right now, um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get rid of my... Um, a workbench in my shop. So, one of them, one of one the of, two. No, like, yeah. Well, the folding one, I'm obviously going to keep. Um, but the uh, other one that I have, it's just fuck. It's just right now, it's just storage. You know, got it. Yeah. Like, yeah, if yeah, I yeah, just yeah. put some shelves up there instead, like, I would probably gain more room. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, and my, I was my, like, my... I was thinking about buying a laser, and I'm like. Where would hell would I even put that thing? <laughs> yeah, I did. You'd have to put it in your in your house, in your basement or something. That'd be the only place you could put it. Bro, that ain't happening. <laughs> Just tell you right now, like you can't even not- have a toaster in your house. You're not gonna get a laser in the house. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you brought up the toaster. I was gonna bring it up later, but after the last podcast, I got a toaster sent to me. And it was a Star Wars toaster, which I was very what? excited about. Yeah, dude. I I oh god, I, I gotta I gotta do a story on that. I fucking forgot. I just put it I hit it so fast. Like well, Shut up. No, seriously. <laughs> so like Um Who got first off, who got you the toaster? It was Lee from Regal Street. So <laughs> Mr. Start some shit, right? He starts some shit with my wife and me. So um Nice So Lee. so Ellie's like, Dad, there's a package on on the front porch for you, it's a Star Wars package. I was like, "What?" I was like, <laughs> "If I was ordered some Star Wars shit, I would have stalked that yeah. tracking number and been like there when yeah. the delivery guy got there. Like, what are you talking about? There's Star Wars shit on our front porch." So I run out there and it's a toaster and like it might as what well they, what, have wait, been a box of used you... panties, bro. Like that's how I reacted when I saw this fucking thing. I was like, "Whoa, oh sh!" And I like looked over my shoulder. I was like, "Oh shit, oh fuck." <laughs> I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck, fuck. I'm like, what do I do with this? No, like, <laughs> like, oh, man. 
So like I brought it in and I put it on the counter just to see like a, like a like a trap to see if my wife would see it and be like, "What the fuck is this?" Like you know, yeah, yeah, what yeah. the fuck are you doing? So like, oh man. So eventually she didn't say shit, right? And I oh, like, that's well, no, 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 don't worry. You'll get your money's worth <laughs> on this story. <laughs> just wait. So I'm like, hey babe. I'm like, you see what's on the counter? She's like, yeah, what the fuck is this? And like my wife, put it to you, honestly, she doesn't really swear that much, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I, all the swear words I use in the rest of the story came out of her mouth, right? <laughs> what the fuck is this? I'm like, well, you know, because, you know, she also doesn't listen to the podcast. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. I was like, well, funny story, babe. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, uh huh. Yeah. I was like, well, I was like, so I was talking about on the podcast. It came up how we don't have toaster, right? And I said, somebody thought it'd be really funny to send us a toaster. And I, she goes, do you know who she, she asked me, she's like, do you know who sent it to you? Oh, geez. And I was like, and at that point I figured it out. Right. Uh, yeah. Cause like, look, it, there's only about the list to begin with was about 20 to 30 people potentially. Right. Yeah. And, and, and it got real narrow when I had to factor in like who already has my address. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. And is on that list. It was a short list. Most of those people were on our Patreon group. Um, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I figured it out. I was like, well, yeah, it was Lee from Regal street. I go, do you want me to, give him any of your feedback on this present he'd give it to us? She goes, yeah, tell him to fuck off. Like, just like that. <laughs> and I was like, whoa! Like, <laughs> dude, like, I oh seen my, my wife pretty pissed it you know, a long time, but she was like, fuck off. <laughs> it's like, so, and then she flipped me off. And I go, hold on, let me take a picture. I took a picture I sent to the Lee and I was like, yo, I was like, thanks for the toaster. Here's how my wife feels about it. You know, oh, that's great, dude. That's yeah. so good. And then, and then I, I, uh, and then Lee's like, tell her it's a shop toaster. I'm like, fuck you, Lee. I love you, man. Fuck off. Uh, my wife was right. Fuck you. It's like, so, um, so I, but I did, I did find the spot for it. And until I get the, what the fuck is this doing in here? Like, yeah. comment. Um, cause that's like, her biggest thing is really it's not like she's anti toaster. It's just she's anti appliances on the counter. And she's like, yeah, Where would you yeah, put yeah. it? Fortunately yeah. for me, Lee bought <laughs> the most worthless toaster that you could possibly gift somebody. It's one of those <laughs> ones only the bread goes in like 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 uh what is it? Vertically, yeah, I, right? Like, yeah, traditional toaster. So I can't like reheat pizza in it, right? And I can't like <laughs> no. I can't like you know, put anything in there that needs to be horizontal. So, like, really, it's just for putting Star Wars logos on bread. That's really all this thing is good for. You know, so I'm like, so wait, every piece of bread comes with the Star Wars logo on it. When you no, take it out, it burn. Yeah, it, it burns the Star Wars logo onto oh, the bread. I have it. I have that's it. awesome. It is awesome, and I'm very excited to try it. You know, and like. Like I can't wait to like throw their egos in there in the morning and it'd be like a yes. Star Wars ego, right? Like Oh yeah, that'd be, be dope. It's gonna be great, you know, but mm. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> it's a little household drama for me, thank you very much. So like <laughs> nice I wasn't job, a big Lee. enough disappointment to my wife already. And the funny part is is that I keep trying to tell her this is her fault, right? Okay, yeah. because like when I first started doing the um like really committing towards doing Instagram and social media and shit like that. She was the one who encouraged me. She's like, lean into your weirdness, right? Is what she kept telling <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah. Yep. 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 Uh Oh, yes. I'm not talking about you. Close the door. Oh God. Thank you for that. She walked in, farted and left. <laughs> like, Oh, God, between her and Elvis. Like, <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> like, I farted. Uh, ha, ha, bye. I'm like, oh, my God. Um, you know, she was like, lean into the weirdness. 
right? She's oh, like, oh yeah, that's right. She's that's like, right. just just be a f- your your normal weirdo self, and she's like, you know, so she's you know, and like I would show her shit, like even the even the Ellie puking thing, right? This yeah. morning, I I posted it onto my stories, and then I was like, should I be posting vomit onto my stories? Like, is that right? So I was like, yeah. you know what? I pull, I saved the videos and then I pulled them off, right? And then I asked oh, her yeah. about it. And she was like, and I showed it to her. And she was like, oh, gross. And uh, I said, what do you think I should do? And she was like, she, why don't you do a video before it, giving a disclaimer that way somebody could fast forward through it if they puke yeah. makes them sick. But yeah, go yeah. ahead and post that. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, yeah. so like, That's like, awesome. so look. The side effects of her advice are fucking toasters showing up to the house occasionally. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. or like the fuck Hey Allie, get out of here. Yes, leave, please. <laughs> okay, come here. Gosh. It's a Star Wars toaster. Yes, my daughter's here. Can you hear her, Ben? Yeah, I can hear her. What's up, Ellie? Hi. We're doing the podcast. All right, tell them about the toaster. It's get that out of your mouth. Star Wars. That was it. That was the length of money you're going to talk about. Stop eavesdropping at the door. Can you please leave now? Because Ben and I only have another half hour. Otherwise, he's going to have to leave his kids at school. That's not cool. Go. Close the door. I don't know what her weird obsession is. Well, I know what's going on in the podcast. Like She thinks that like because I talk to her, like she needs to hear what we're talking about on the podcast. Or Because I talk about her, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So she's like, I, w- I want to hear what you're saying about me. And I'm like, <laughs> I say the same shit to your face. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then, and then she's like, Dad, you swear a lot, you know, when you're on the podcast. I'm just like, shut yeah. the fuck up. Like, what are you fucking talking about? <laughs> you know, <laughs> so that doesn't go well at all for me. So, <sighs> so oh know. man, this is this is too funny, dude. It's like um, the, the chaos of the school year, man. I forgot how how. Like the difference between chaotic summer is versus chaotic school year. Yeah, well, we used to do this during their school time every day, every week while they yeah. were in school, and we never had interruptions. So, <laughs> yeah, it was only because I was like, I'm like paranoid. Like, this reminds me of the time <laughs> you have PTSD about that door opening, <laughs> dude. I do. Stop it, Jesus! This reminds me of the time I. This time, I, my first trip to Vegas, right? Yeah. So, I, this is like the whole the whole paranoid looking over your shoulder thing. So, uh, the first time I ever went to Vegas, right? You know, I was working for this rock radio station, and I had my buddies and I wanted to go to Vegas, and none of us had been to Vegas before. So yeah. we scheduled like six, five or six days in Vegas, right? Wow, that's Which, way too many. We didn't know. Though. We didn't know. Yeah, I, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, three days is the right amount. Seventy-two hours is the most amount of time you should spend it's in Vegas. Perfect. Yeah. Like that's it. Yeah. So my boss really didn't love me at the time, right? And he was like, "Yo, man," he was like, "I think your trip's too long." He was like, "I don't think you should be spending that much time away from the office. You really need to focus on your sales." And I was like, "Motherfucker, I'm doing great. I don't know what you're talking about." He yeah. was like, "I don't like you." So. I'm just paraphrasing. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, that's fine. It was a shocker that I've had a lot of bosses that don't like me. Um, <laughs> it's because uh, I'm such a good listener. So yeah. um, clearly. <laughs> yeah. So I, I cut the trip to 48 hours, right? Yeah. It was yeah. exactly 48 hours. Okay. And it was like, I flew in. I, I flew in at like. Because uh, there's a time zone change. I like, like left at like five or six o'clock and I landed like exactly at midnight. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then, and then I, 48 hours later, I flew out at midnight. Right. Oh, okay. yeah. Yep. Yep. And this is back when, you know, like, you, you know, your whole body, like you never could put it, like consider like what your body is capable of. So I was like, I'm I'm just gonna go straight the whole time is what I told him. And I, I told my buddies, I'm like, you guys are here for five days. I'm only here for forty eight hours. I'm like, you fu- one of you fuckers is gonna have to stay with me up the whole time. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to pull shifts because I'm not gonna sleep and I'm just gonna go. So like the trip was completely ridiculous. It was like it was like the hangover style Vegas trip. Yeah. And yeah. And like but the one 
part that stood out to me is that I realized that after you drink for like 36 hours straight, you start to hallucinate, right? (laughs) So imagine. Yeah. Like (laughs) sleep deprivation and alcohol. Like, and it's really hard to stay drunk that long. Right. And And you're in and you're in Vegas, which is like, you know, they, they fuck with your brain with no clocks and you can't see outside and you're just, it's impossible to stay that drunk that long anywhere else besides Vegas. It is just not possible. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm after like 36 or something like that hours because at some point I blacked out and they poured me onto the airplane. Um, <laughs> but um, I remember I was in this bar called Rum Jungle, right? And it was just me and my buddy, and it was like four in the morning or something stupid shit like that, or like eight in the morning. Yeah. I don't remember, but it was like we should not have been there at the time, right? Because there was no one else in the bar, right? <laughs> It was a really popular bar, and like we were the only people there. It must have been like eight in the morning or some shit like that. And I'm drinking a rum and coke at Rum Jungle, thinking I'm fucking funniest dude in the world. But the whole time I'm sitting there, like right out of the corner of my eye, right? Yeah. It looks like there's a dude in a large, like a really tall, skinny guy in a white lab coat, like slowly creeping towards me, right? And I (laughs) flip back over my shoulder. And I'd like do a double take and look, and like there's nobody there. And like, yeah. like it, it happened like three or four times. And my buddy's like, "What the hell's wrong with you?" And I was like, "Is there a dude creeping up behind me?" He was like, "Oh fuck!" He's like, <laughs> <laughs> "I'm gonna have to take care of you, aren't I?" I lost the bet. <laughs> I was like, "What?" He's like, "Yeah, we knew that you would fucking crumple at some point and lose your mind." <laughs> like, you know, we just wondered who would be holding the hot potato when that happened. So, <laughs> oh god, it was it was brutal, man. Like, and I I, I just remember like when I got back from that trip, I had insomnia for like two weeks. You, you ever had insomnia? I, I I sleep four to five hours a night as it is. So yeah, I I kind of get it. But like like for me, it's like <laughs> you you remember the movie? Um, uh, um, uh, oh god, uh, Fight Club, right? Oh, right? yeah, yeah. He yeah. talks about insomnia in that movie, and he's like, you just yeah. have a hard time knowing what's real and what's not real, right? Yep. yep. And, and, like, that's how I was. Like, like I didn't know if I was awake. I didn't know if I was sleeping. Like, I was at work, but I don't, and I thought I was in bed. Like, it was real Jeez. weird, man. And, like, my Jeez. boss kept looking at me, and I'm like, hey, man, I had to pack five Vegas days into 48 hours. This is the kind of <laughs> side effects you get. <laughs> I don't think he ever told me what to adjust his vacation after that shit. So, <laughs> like, fuck you, man. Oh, oh God. man, dude. I've uh, I've only been drunk to that point one time, um, where on like where I'm out out of place like that. Um, when I first got out of boot camp and I got to my ship in in uh, San Diego, like the second, no, the first weekend, I think it was the first or second weekend I was there. They were all like, "Let's go down to TJ because it's you know right across uh-huh. the border from, yeah, from yeah. there." And uh, I had just gotten a uh, gift from my dad. He bought me a new watch, um, like a diving watch, like this like fancy fucking mm-hmm. watch. And I was like all stoked on it. And being an idiot who doesn't really drink that much, I was like, you know, I decided to wear the watch, you know, to TJ with me. Yeah. And uh we get to the first bar and we start drinking and these guys are fucking like real drinkers. You know what I mean? Like these guys are like, you know, they, they drink on a, on a daily basis and I never really drink, you know, I drank a little bit. Your, your Navy not, buddies. Yeah. The guys I was with, like they're the semen all, are, are, are good drinkers. Um, so we get down to this bar and i start like trying to hang with them you know and they're drinking like they they're buying they're not buying beers they're buying buckets of beers you know what i mean so like we're like you know really drinking and i'm trying to keep up and dude i fucking like at one point woke up with my head like i woke up i must have passed out on the bar on the table we were sitting at because the bouncer guy's like you got to stay awake you can't sleep in here and i was like okay so i tried to stay awake i tried to hang and the next thing i knew i like kind of woke up it was like out of a movie man like woke up like as i'm waking up i see like i'm being carried like out (laughs) of, of the bar and i was like what the fuck you know and i but i passed out again and then i woke up again on the curb outside of the bar 
like on the street. And then I fucking, and I still didn't know where I was. I didn't understand what was going on. I passed out again. And luckily my, my first class like found me and threw me in a cab and took me across the border and got me home. But I woke up without my watch, man. That's the one bar here. Oh. Like I fucking somebody, one of the bouncers at the bar probably was like, "Sweet, I got a new watch," you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> but yeah, that was that's the worst I've ever been. That's the only time I've ever been that fucked up, man. Like um, out at for you, somewhere. bro. Yeah, no, <laughs> I've been down that road more times than I'd like to admit. So <laughs> I learned my lesson, dude. I was like, that is scary shit, bro. I was lucky I I made it home. <laughs> I, I think it, it I think it took like this second kid to learn that lesson. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> yeah, I, w- I, w- I mean it it would it would have been uh nice to learn that lesson sooner, but you know. So now I'm a lightweight now I'm a lightweight though, so yeah, well, yeah, I do. I would. There's no way I could hang with anybody drinking nowadays. Um, Dude, it's so, great though. I have it, like two bourbons, and I'm like hammered. I'm like, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. I'd be a cheap date, man. Yeah. I'd probably like take like two beers to the head and be like, "All right, let's do this thing." Woo! Yeah, but you'd be also be the fucker who ordered like fifty dollars worth of Taco Bell on the way home. I'm like, how the fuck <laughs> did you drink six dollars worth of beer and order fifty dollars worth of Taco Bell, bro? Like, how does that equation work out? Uh, I'd, I'd probably be have been smoking the whole time as well. That's the difference. Ugh. Uh, yeah. um, so, hey, question, quick question: Have you ever been sprayed by a skunk or known anybody had an animal? Have you ever dealt with that? Um, no. Not, 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 no, I, no. I, I, I've smelled skunk plenty of time, but yeah. I've never spray been sprayed by a skunk. No, or no. So the, too. so I, first off, I didn't realize that skunks are everywhere in my head. I was thinking like Bambi skunks are out in the forests and shit like that. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, like, like Pepe Le like, Pew, they're out just out there hitting on other skunks. Yeah. Not like. <laughs> Cruising around the cities, you know what I mean, like the sexual harassment skunk. <laughs> yeah. Um. So the other night, like we're sitting here at home, and uh, Debbie's like calls. She went. We were in the garage hanging out, and then she calls me in the house because she's like, "I right, put the kids to bed," and I was like, "All right, great." So we walk in, and this is like like nine forty five or no, it was like nine thirty because it was a weekend. It was on Saturday. Yeah. Um the kids were up watching a movie and we put them to bed. And then as we were in the kitchen, like, she's like, do you smell that? And I was like, what? I was like, I do smell that. Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, what is that? Yeah. That, 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 that you know, like in all of a sudden, like she, she opens the back door and Cooper, our fucking big dog comes running in. And as soon as he got in the, like stepped inside the door, it was just like fucking so goddamn. Oh, pungent, your dog dude. got sprayed. It, right all over his face dude his eye he could barely open his eyes he was like it stank so bad dude it was like it was dude <laughs> it was dude it was the worst bro like i honestly had never because i've never personally What'd you do well so i had just um uh we had just gotten food for ourselves um, I had just gotten, see, now I'm remembering better the story. I had just gotten home. <laughs> I had just gotten home from food, from getting food for me and Debbie. The Was kids Bruce were trying up. to take the wheel from you on this. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Uh, Debbie, uh, was in the garage. I, I remember now I pulled up with the food. She's like, we got to put the kids to bed because the movie just ended. So I had just gotten food for us. That was the other shitty part about it is we went in there. Our food was hot. We found out the dog got sprayed. So the food just had to sit there because I was like, I can maybe just wait, put the dog outside and not have to think about this for the next hour after we eat or something. But I immediately went to Google and Google everything was like, you have to work fast. You have to do this quickly. You have to get the, the you know, the, the oils out of their eyes and stuff like that. And all it's like, so I was like, fuck. So we threw the food in the microwave and just left it sitting in there thinking maybe that would help keep it hot. <laughs> I pulled that. Move. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> you know, it doesn't. Um, it's not a cooler. Then, uh, <laughs> no. It's like, what's the, what's going to insulate this? The microwave. Yeah. That'll work. <laughs> Oven would be uh, better. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, so anyway, so yeah, we you know we decided we got to do it with it right now. So um, <laughs> it's we we tell the kids go to bed basically. Me and Debbie stripped down to our, you know, she's in her bra and underwear. I'm in my boxers and we're got the dog outside. I'm spraying it with a hose. You know, she, she had found this, uh, recipe for like this concoction with like, uh, hydrogen peroxide soap and, um, what's the other, um, uh, baking soda and you mix it together and it's supposed to like neutralize the, the smell and the, the did it work? The, the, yeah, so it start we went out there and we were out there for like maybe like 40 minutes giving her like with the stuff and spraying her off and washing her and or him and trying to get the smell off and uh it does work but dude it is nothing getting that smell completely out dude. She's still he's still um it's been since Saturday. It's what Thursday. He still stinks, dude. He's been outside. Oh. I've been keeping him outside, sleeping out there at night because it's so goddamn hot out. It's not like he's going to freeze out there. So I've been, yeah, I yeah. put his bed and food and water outside and he's been sleeping out there. And then during the days I've been letting him in, um, in, into the, into the, like the, the, uh, kitchen area over there in, yeah. inside our house. But like, I'm kind of keeping him locked into one area because <laughs> dude, that's, he stinks so bad, bro. Like it is the worst, man. It is. Wait, so do they, the they worst. he still stinks? Yeah. And they say it can take up to three weeks for it to, for it to dissipate. Oh. Even though we wa- do we washed him three times that night, we washed him with, with like um, washed him, rinsed him, washed him, rinsed him, washed him, rinsed him, um, and it's still, dude, it still fucking stinks, man. It's just man. the damn worst. But the funny part, the- oh, that's the funny part. <laughs> the funny part was me and Debbie, <laughs> fucking stoners. We're fucking sitting there washing him, and we're like. You know, it actually doesn't smell that bad. It smells, it smells like some of the good weed we smoked in our lifetime. <laughs> oh, God. It's skunk man. weed. Perfect. It's skunk weed. That's where the name comes from. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, dude, yeah. So that's, that's that was disgusting. That was crazy. Yeah, bro. Ugh. It was. It was. It was. It was pretty brutal. And like I said, it's he still stinks, dude. If anybody has any uh, like solutions for that, feel free to hit me up. So I would love, I would love to figure it out. Uh, it's just nasty, nasty, nasty. Yeah. Um, we got like ten minutes before I gotta go get the kids. We're up against the clock. But uh, uh, if we didn't talk about food this week, I think people would be pretty pissed off. Um, myself and Dave had to reschedule our ramen excursion because he had, he had, uh, I had picture day come up, and then he had something come up with his kids that he had to be home for. So we had to we had to um, postpone it. We're gonna try and maybe next week, hopefully. But I wanted to bring up ramen because our uh, our our mid I don't know where, where's the, where, where where do you consider Ohio? Is that Midwest? Is that yes, that's the Midwest. Like, <laughs> Midwest. So our Midwest food correspondent Kyle from the foot Footwork Woodworks he uh, he sent out this amazing ramen video yesterday or the day before did you see this thing yeah. where they take the the barina barilla ramen i think i'm pronouncing that wrong but i, I could be pronouncing it right i don't know it's b-i-r-r-i-a barilla um it's the it's the new taco trend that's out there right now these barilla tacos where they cook mm-hmm. the consomme and they cook the shredded beef in that yeah yeah and then they fry the tacos and stuff they're like my favorite new tacos um but they, he sent out this thing about this ramen where they use all the same stuff. To, obviously, not the tortilla, but they mm-hmm. do the sauce and then they put the ramen and the meat and the cheese and the. Bro, that is the ramen I'm looking for. And I found the location and it's in LA. Bro, when you're here in October. Okay, but you we have can, to try can, normal if, ramen too. I will try normal ramen, but this stuff. This looks amazing. Yeah, I'm I'm all in on that. Look, dude, I'm telling sure. you, like I'm gonna need we're gonna need to hit up a couple places. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I'm still yeah. thinking about friggin' um uh John Wick's uh pork shank, man. I'm like, come on. I bro. know, I know. If we can squeeze that in too, we gotta try, man. We gotta yeah. try. Uh, um dude, no, but so, this ramen, dude. You, you, you I gotta get this ramen. I gotta get it. Gotta try it. Yeah. I I, I <sighs> I'm, I'm uh I'm in on that, dude. I love soups and and 
stews and um, chilies and yeah. Oh, I should shout out. I should shout out the place though because it's tacos de tacos de Berea los socios s o c i o s socios. Anyways, mm-hmm. it's in L A. Um, it's looks amazing. Haven't tried it yet, but if you're in this area and you try it before me, you gotta you gotta let us know because uh, it looks fucking fabulous. How was your yeah. uh, how was how was your your food at your cookout? Your cookout, your uh, block party, <laughs> dude. It was great, man. Like, like, um, I made corn dogs during the day, which blew people's minds. Um, yes, of course, they looked good. They looked they were, good. They were delicious, and um, you know, it, it, that was 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 a lot of fun. Um, and then and then I also smoked smoked two pork butts, and it was funny. Like you know, um, like everyone was eating it and. My my wife came up. She was like, "Pork came out really well." I just looked at her. I was like, "I know." She was like, "Oh, <laughs> Mister Confident." I was like, "Babe, I'm like, come on. When's the last time you had pulled pork that I made that you didn't fucking love it?" She was like, "Good point." I'm like, at this point, I'm just gonna own it that I'm good at making pulled pork and just <laughs> like go for it. But it was fun to hear my neighbors talking about it, you know, because um, my one neighbor was, you know, he was. Um, uh, talking to me about how he's done barbecue competitions as well. Um, yeah, and yeah, I think we had actually been at the same competition once. But um, and I was like, he was like, yeah, so we make a really good pulled pork, and I was like, okay, cool, cool, sure, sure, man, yeah, that sounds that sounds <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And then like when he ate it, he like came up to you, was like, mm, bro, I'm like, I know, I know, <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> hop off the Johnson, bro, I, I, <laughs> I know, even even my even my like. Neighbor who's in his seventies was like Luke. It was like that park yesterday. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. <laughs> oh, that's great. Like he sounded mm. like he was trying to yell, and he had no teeth in his mouth. You know, it was just all lips, <laughs> gums, and shit. <laughs> he has teeth. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, so, oh, geez. yeah. It was. It was wonderful, man. It was also that's yeah, awesome. So, yeah. Um. All right, wait. I I <laughs> I thought the whole what? I thought the computer something happened to the computer. Um. Okay, but my last thing, I just got one more thing. I found <laughs> yeah, a yeah. new show on Netflix. You should check out. Oh, nice. What is, what's it called? Big Timber. Right. I've seen it. I've seen it. Oh my god, dude! Like these fucking guys up on the mountain, like like Bro. pulling wood off the mountain. Like holy shit, these are guys are insane. Like Bro, and, I I love Big Timber, dude, and like like that like how they have to like like um everybody ha- like not only do you have to know your job and like four other jobs working for that dude who owns the company, but like yeah. all of his fucking equipment's always breaking and he's got that barge always. that's always sinking and it's like <laughs> like he's like I don't want to have to pay money to buy anything because like that's gonna stop me you know and yeah. cut into my yeah. profits and then I'll go out of business. You know, like, yeah. so, like, like, and he's got that, that yarder thing that, like, pulls the yeah. logs up the yeah. mountain, and that yeah. thing looks like the biggest rusted heap of shit I've ever seen in my whole life. You know, yeah. like, all of your money is relying off that piece of garbage. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude, like there's got to be an easier way to get the wood off the mountain, but no wonder wood is so fucking expensive, bro. Dude, seriously, what they have to go through to get that shit is intense, man. It's oh fucking intense. Oh my god, dude! Like, yeah, yeah like yeah, seriously, yeah, yeah. And, and it's like a cutthroat business, you know. Yeah. And like, and like, you know, the, the, God, they, they like, and I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, 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 it's just incredible what they had to do to get the wood. And like, the, I all I kept thinking about watching the first couple episodes was, and here I am, like, picking through the 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 wood at my local like hardwood sto- place and I'm yeah. bitching about it. Like this yeah. wood isn't good enough for me. Like some dude yeah. is lucky he didn't fucking get crushed <laughs> by like a 10 ton log pulling this up yeah. the side of a mountain and I'm bitching it because it has a couple knots in it. Like, yeah. like I know dude, dude it's God. crazy. It's big crazy. Timber. Watching that check yeah, that big shit timber. Out. Check it out. Yeah check it out. It's, it's actually really good. I've actually watched both seasons. I'm I um if this is the second season started uh, a couple months ago. Me and Debbie watched it, and uh, yeah, I'm on yeah. season one. And, good that's, show. and the other it's show good I've been show. watching is Eric Curtis's Instant Home, Instant Dream Home show. 
I started the first episode of that. That show is the premise of it is insane that they are going to yeah. completely remodel somebody's house inside and out in 12 hours. Right. Yeah. Did you see the first episode, how he built that, uh, that whole kitchen at another location yeah. and, <laughs> and then forklifted it, it into in? the house? I'm like, Jesus, dude. fucking guy is insane. But like, yeah, yeah. Ugh, yeah. Did you make it to the fourth episode? No, 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 no. I've only watched, I've only had a chance to watch like the first episode. I haven't got any past that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It, 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 that show is wild, you know? It but is. It is. It, it is, is wild. It is down that, like, uh, that show, the one show, um, Love is Blind, um, sent me yeah. down a reality TV rabbit hole where now all I'm doing is looking for that weird shit Netflix was like, that only has like <laughs> one or maybe two seasons where Netflix yeah. is like, let's try some shit out. And it's like, yeah. oh, <laughs> that is some weird fucking shit. Like, like, oh, uh... like I, I don't know. And like, and like, like I, I like slowly look over at Jackie on the couch. I'm like, "What do you think of this?" And she was like, "I'm loving this rabbit hole. Keep going." Because she go, she went down like a couple years ago, like a like a Real Housewives of Everything rabbit oh, hole. Oh yeah, yeah, she yeah, dips, yeah. She dips down on it like every one or two years, you know. Um, yeah. Where she'll like now all she does is she watches watches all the recap shows because like like they do like the recap thing at the end. And it's like, you know, normally it would be a one episode recap, but like these shows, they do like a four episode recap now. So she's like, I'll just watch that recap shit. She's like, that's the best part <laughs> of it all, anyways. That's all you got to watch. All the good stuff's in there. Yeah. Oh, man. No. All right. We got to go. Yeah. Let's okay. do our shout outs. Let's do our shout outs. Um, my shout out this week goes to JR, our good friend JR at Trey Studios Woodworking. Um, yep. He's just been killing He's been killing it lately. Uh, he started his new sublimation printer game uh, where mm-hmm. he's making these tumblers and they're they're bitching he just made some for our buddy matthew from the wooden mustache he made some sweet 49ers ones the other day that he sent me and showed me um so he's just killing it so i wanted to shout him out and uh he makes these awesome dodger displays as well um for like bobbleheads and and uh your cards and whatnot um so yeah go check out jr trey studios woodworking on instagram he's a good dude give him a follow yeah, um, that's awesome. I, I'm going to give a, a, a shout out to a dude you're probably already following, uh, Izzy Swan. Um, yep. This dude, man, I got to tell you, bro, like, I know we talked about him, like him being on my dream team of, um, <laughs> yeah, of yeah. makers. Um, but, yeah. you know, Izzy, man, I bought that little uh, piano hinge looking thing for my saw stop. And yeah, like I bought a couple products from Izzy before I bought that. I bought this thing for my grabo um and i bought this um these uh epoxy molds for to make in your own handles for shit and like dude that guy is like like i love the way he packages stuff i love the way he does instructions his products are solid um and i know that like people are like oh you know it's izzy but like his years of experience of doing product development yeah shines yeah. through in and everything he does, and that dude is just such a smart and talented guy. And the fact that he has thought of me on a few occasions blows my mind. So yeah, no, um, and he's the nice. He's really, really nice too. He's, so, he's really, really nice. I mean, I've had the fortunate chance to interview him on our in the shop live yeah, thing yeah. that we do on Thursdays, and he's just the nicest guy, man. He did, he came on, you know, talked to us for an hour plus. And he just hung out with us. And now he comes back during like on Thursdays just to hang out and chat, and, you know, be on in the show. It's like, and this guy's like the, one of the smartest dudes out there who has like so many things on his plate and he still takes the time to be part of the community, which is awesome. Yeah. You know? Great dude. Great, great guy. All right. Let's get through these yeah. Patreons. Okay. And we've got a new one this week. Dude, this list is nice. getting long, man. We might have to, um, like come up with a system where maybe we only uh, mention certain people like but uh, but I'm gonna get through it as quick as I can uh, thank you to our patrons who financially support this wacky endeavor of Ben and I um, <laughs> thank Kyle you. Foot the OG foot man from footwork woodworks Matthew Gerard I'm gonna I'm gonna do this like I like I'm announcing the starting lineup for a basketball game Matthew nice. Gerard from, from the wooden mustache Lee <laughs> Oman from Rico Street. Oman. Oman. Um, thank you for the toaster, bro. Um, 
Big Mike Holmes from the Broken Lead Woodworks. <laughs> uh, Dave, one great work from uh, Rustic Joy Woodworks. My mom, Ellie <laughs> Skelly. <laughs> Dave the Thriller Miller with a beard like an apron tied around your neck or your chin or whatever. Like, yeah, he's got a big ass beard. It's like. <laughs> You know, it's like you took the straps of the the apron yeah. and you tied yeah, it yeah, over yeah, your yeah. head and in a bow on the top of your head, and it was nestled in <laughs> under your nose. That's what his beard's like. That I don't know if I delivered it correctly, but that's how big his fucking beard is. <laughs> the ZZ Top of woodworkers. Um, uh, uh, Billy Estes from Simplewood Wood Co. Keep it up with the Dave Miller starter beard. You're doing great, bro. Um, yeah. Corey Stanley from Odyssey Underscore Stan. He, uh, against all recommendations, he has not stopped posting uh, rotary CNC footage. Bastard. <laughs> uh, the unofficial lube of the podcast, Eric from Bubble Shoots. Yeah. Uh, Alan from A Dad to Eight Creates. A Dad, dad of Eight Creates. Uh, the Collingwood Canoe Company. Uh, Grant from Dad Crafted. Yeah. Writer from Riders Custom Creations. Jason Sullivan. And Kimani <laughs> Ben Strayhorn is our new patron from Ben Strayhorn Designs. Thank you yeah. very much. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Uh, uh, yeah, they're good people. So, yeah, we, dude, thanks, guys. We appreciate yeah. you so I much. I, I think I just wrecked what little voice I had. I know, I, I can ben tell. Ben Strayhorn Designs. You know. <laughs> Uh, you guys are awesome. We really appreciate oh, you guys. Still Seriously. not a Patreon, Trevor Davies. Screw you, man. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> ben deleted your Ben deleted your phone number. <laughs> <laughs> the other day you called me, and Debbie's like, "Hey, is that Trevor?" <laughs> it was you. Oh, it's so funny, man. Hey, you know what I should I do? Like, I should put his cell phone number on our our um page as our complaint department. Oh, dude, you should. That would be <laughs> fucking hilarious, dude. Call or text our complaint department, and it's going to be Trevor's number. <laughs> it's not. It's not the nine oh eight pot bong. That's our normal number. So feel free to text yeah. us or call us there anytime. Uh, uh, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, dude. If you want to be a Patreon, go to the link at the bottom of every episode and click it, and that's how you can sign up for Patreon to support our podcast. Thanks, guys. Share this podcast this week. I really appreciate everybody who shared it last week. Thank you so much. Do it again this week. We really want to get this thing out there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And yep. Luke, get this out of here. All right. Take it away, Tim. Balls, balls, balls. It's been a Combine Creative Production. Text us anytime at 908 768 2664 or send us a message on our Instagram, The Jointery Podcast. You can find Ben at Condorosa Creations or Luke at Luke in the Garage. Everywhere that social media is sold. That's garage, not garage. Say it properly. <laughs>